to my tutorial on how to draw a tree. Firstly, you will draw a general shape of the tree. You can be as wacky and crazy and creative on the shape as you'd like. And I actually recommend looking at some bonsai trees because they're much smaller and they fit the RPG narrative much more. And once you have the shape down, it's time to lock the layer and draw in the shadows. Pick a much darker color, set your brush size to about 3 or 4, the opacity to 30%, and draw in some lines towards the right side of the truck. In RPG Maker, the light source comes from the top left, so it's the right side that we need to make darker. Don't be afraid to go over multiple areas several times to make them even more darker. Always follow the shape of your trunk as you draw on the lines. Do the same thing for the highlights. Pick a lighter color and set your brush size to about 1 and draw in some very thin lines on the left side of the trunk. And again, don't be afraid to go over your shadowy parts as well. There's, I would actually recommend doing this so that you have more contrast between the two. This will actually make your tree end up looking like tree bark. You can finish it up by adding some even more highlights in a different color. And in this area, I am adding some reflective light. This is entirely optional. The only reason I'm doing this is because there's some snow that will reflect light towards the tree. But I do not recommend doing this for beginners. I added some even more highlights on a different layer and set it to overlay. But eventually I decided it wasn't that great. So once you have the tree down, it's time to actually draw the leaves. So first, draw in the general shape of the leaves. I added some blotches of color. And with the one of the standard brushes of Photoshop, I added some fuzziness towards the edges. And I also started to erase some parts. I recommend not adding a lot of leaves to your tree, especially around the tree trunk in the middle, because you'd like to be able to see your trunk a bit. I mean, it, it's a waste that you spend so much time drawing the tree trunk and you actually don't end up seeing it. So I recommend leaving some parts open so you can actually see it. You don't need to fill out the entire thing that will come in later. So once you have the top part of the leaves done and you're satisfied with the shape, it's time to shade it. I am using a custom brush made by Noiseless found on DeviantArt. It's his cloud brush. And with this brush, I add in a darker color and I shade towards the right to make some poofy, cloudy shapes. Uh, I draw in multiple times to add in even more darker parts. And I do the same thing with a lighter color. Obviously, I draw on the top left side of the leaves. And I go over multiple times to add in even more texture because this is how you can get that leafy looking effect. Using a smaller brush size one, I add in some leafy shapes towards the top left side for some highlights. And eventually I end up doing this everywhere so that you can see the leaves more and have more contrast between the shadows and the highlights. Eventually I decided that the look was too much, so I deleted some parts and I lowered down the opacity of that layer so that the highlights weren't as pronounced as they are right now. I do apologize how fast I am drawing this. It's mostly just a lot of practice and knowing where your light and shadows are and knowing how to draw shapes. But all I have to say is look at a ton of reference pictures. You want to know your trees inside and out. You want to dream of trees. I decided I wanted more contrast in the leaves, so with an even darker brush, I, which is set to multiply, I added some splotches of darker color, which due to the multiply blending mode of the brush itself, it makes a lot more contrast between the highlights and the shadows. Once I am done and I am satisfied with the leaves, I duplicate the layer, I flip it horizontally, I make the leaves much much darker and I shift around some shapes and then I place it behind the tree trunk. These are the leaves that go behind the tree so that it actually looks fuller and has more leaves. Obviously you still need to leave some spots open. I think it's more natural that way if you can actually see through the leaves and you can actually see your character walking behind it. It's time for the finishing touch and that means you have to add a shadow to your tree. 
I duplicate the leaves layer again. I make it pitch black by turning the brightness all the way down. I shrink it, skew it, and place it below the tree trunk and set the opacity of the layer to 43%. And that concludes this tutorial, so thanks for watching guys!